Today we make a bucket hat inspired by the man himself, Bob Ross. So this fabric that I am struggling to cut right now is the lining. So what I am trying to determine is how much fabric I will need for the material that's going to actually be the outside of the hat. So I have these pattern pieces, which I made some time back. I'm just gonna lay stuff out and move from there. Seven. Just as a reference for you. So now what we're gonna do is cut these into squares. finally done. All 32. My head hurts. I'll be able to work this one. She's loud.
I finished sewing the rows. Now I'm going to join them along that side and then try and iron it. Straps. It hurts. It hurts so much. But it's okay. It's okay. So these are the side pieces. I'm going to go and sew those together. This is the brim. I'm going to sew these together. Then after we sew the sides together, this is the top. I'm going to sew the top onto it. And I'm going to sew the brim. And I'll be right back. So these are our pieces. We've got this part, which is of course going around my large head. We've got the brim. I have sewed both sides of the brim together so that the um, the open part will be over here where it won't be seen. And then this is the top. So now I'm going to attach this here and this here. And I'll be right back. So I've sewed this is the top to the side, this is the brim, then the lining. So well, this is what I meant. Instead of leaving the seam open at the brim, I left it open here because I'm hoping that will give it a cleaner finish. So normally when they're sewing bucket hats with lining or bucket hats that are reversible, at least in the tutorials I've seen, they leave a seam open on the brim so you can turn the hat inside out. In order to finish that hat, you would have to sew round the brim to close it. I didn't want to sew around my brim so I, what I decided to do was to leave the seam open between where the brim starts and where the side of the hat is. So that is what I'm trying to explain here. I don't know how well that's working out for me. I don't know how clearly you can see this because it is black. I'm going to fold it. There's my needle and thread. When you fold it where the fold would be that's where you want the thread to go through bring it over to this side basically what i'm trying to do is to close the gaping hole that i had to leave in order to turn the hat inside out so it could be on the right side and in order to do that I had to make sure that the material was folded and then I sewed through the fold and then through the side of the inner part of the brim so through the fold through the inner part of the brim hopefully that makes sense I'm doing this because I don't want there to be any obvious place where I closed the hat, I just want it to look seamless. Sewed all around, and as you can see, or maybe you can't see, 
this is a part of sound looks pretty decent so now to finish it we're just gonna tie a knot several knots because I don't trust single knots we have our big old nut Broken heart. Huh? 